Angular is continuing to improve as a framework, pushing out major releases every six months with bug fix and feature releases in between. Whenever a pull request for a new fix or feature is open or gets merged, a common question is, how can I try this out? There are a few ways you can use Angular features with and without waiting until they make it into the next release. The first way is using ng-update. You probably already know this, but ng-update is the most common way to update your Angular projects using the Angular CLI. Go to angular.dev slash update dash guide and see what's necessary before upgrading and what steps to take. You can even see a full list of changes made between the selected major releases. Use the ng-update command with at angular CLI and at angular core to upgrade you to the latest version of Angular and run any automated migrations. You can also use the at next tag to get the published release of the next upcoming version on NPM. The next way is to use rolling builds. Now this is a, a lesser known feature that Angular, the Angular team publishes with each build. Angular has repositories that get updated with each pull request that lands in Angular, Angular Material, or Angular CLI repositories. You can see these repositories by going to github.com slash angular, go to the repositories tab and searching for repositories with the word builds in them. This is an example of what one of those repositories looks like. To use one of the repositories, go into the package.json for your project, replace the angular version number with the GitHub format for that package. For example, if I wanted to test out the latest build of angular core, I would update the package.json to reference the angular slash core dash builds repository. Run your package manager installation command and now you're able to use the most recent Angular features from the latest build. Be sure to align all the packages so you don't have mismatched builds and run into strange issues. Another way is to use pull requests. If you'd like to test out a feature from a pull request, you can do that directly from the Angular GitHub repository. Find the pull request, scroll down to the workflow section, find the pull request slash artifact job, click on details, click on the archive build artifact step, find the artifact download URL and click on it to download it. After you unzip this file to a folder, you will have all the built artifacts from Angular for that pull request. Drop them into your node module slash at Angular folder, overriding any existing folders that are there to try out the feature. Now, depending on your comfort level, you can try out the latest Angular features from release all the way down to the pull request. And as always, give the team some feedback if you'd like to see changes to these features or find something that impacts your usage. If you like this video, hit the like and subscribe buttons as that really helps me out. And with that, I'll see you in the next video.